To explain the principle of a DC motor, let us construct a simple model. A frame-shaped conductor is placed between the poles of a magnet. The frame can rotate. It is called the rotor. We attach conductive rings to the ends of the conductor, which are in contact with two plates known as brushes. When voltage is applied, current starts flowing through the wire frame. The action of the magnet on the conductor, where an electric current flows, generates forces, which make the frame begin to turn around. This rotary motion of the frame continues until the force vectors are in the same plane. Now, even if the frame is deflected by an external force, it will return to its equilibrium position. A motor built this way will not work. To make the frame rotate, it is necessary to replace the rings with two separate segments attached to the frame ends. This is what is known as the commutator. The current flows through the frame from the first commutator segment to the second. The frame starts rotating. And when it passes the vertical position, the current begins to flow in the opposite direction, from the second commutator segment to the first. Because of the direction of the forces, the frame continues to rotate. Unfortunately, the frame rotates unevenly and can easily be stopped. To make the motor more efficient, it is necessary to increase the number of frames. In real-life motors, the frames are replaced by windings made of multiple coils of thin wire. The engine power will increase if electromagnets are used instead of magnets. The DC motors have many applications. They can be found in power tools, toys, household appliances, computers, robotic devices and drones, vehicles and many others.